troubled waves and the sand is soft as silk. The beach is a quiet place. Uh, I like to go alone. I walk from my house with a good book, with a good book, and flop down on a rock or swim in the sea. Today was the hottest of a series of summer days, and I was planning to spend the whole day reading on the sand. Hours passed. I began to lose interest in my story, one where the character gets shipwrecked on an island, and I started to notice shape in the water. What could it be? I stood up, thinking I might be able to swim out to the object. Cautiously, I threw myself into the waves and started to kick. After a while, I began to tire. My arms ached complacently and my legs felt on fire, but I couldn't turn back. I was too close. With a rush of joy, I snatched what looked like a bottle from the wave. It was slimy and green, but it seemed to bear a message inside. Wearily, I turned around, and to my horror, all I could see were waves. All around me was an endless blue as far as the eye could see. I had been carried away in a fierce current without noticing, and now strong waves were forcing themselves on top of me. A thunderous storm was starting, and the world turned black. I was lying on soft, silky sand, with my head aching and my eyes closed. I wanted to stay here undisturbed forever. Slowly, I became aware of a stinging pain in my toe. Then the other one. I looked up groggily and saw a ruby red crab brandishing its pincers at my feet. I yelled and scrambled out of the way. Only then did I feel a slimy something leaning against my hand. Looking over, I saw the bottle I had swum out to. That thought seemed to nudge something in my waterlogged brain. I was not on my beach. I must have washed up on this unknown island. I was alone. <laughs> Desperately, I looked around for any sign of familiarity, and my eyes fell upon the message in the bottle. I reached out a shaking hand and, with difficulty, opened the top. Like a snake, the note slid out. It said, don't go in the water. You could end up here too. Don't go in the water, I said furiously. It's too late for that. So you've been shipwrecked too, said a slow, deep voice behind me. I spun around. Before me stood a young man. He had large tans on his skin and looked thin and worn. You found my note and you still washed up, he said rather scornfully. I didn't know it read that. I snapped back. Hurrying over to a large palm tree, I started to snatch up leaves. Suddenly, a cunning plan had formed in my head. I would build a raft to paddle home on. I had been good at raft building, so I decided to ignore the man and focus on survival. Several weeks passed, the raft grew and grew as I added layers of driftwood until, one day, I paddled the whole way round the island on it without sinking once. I ran light-hearted into the trees to collect supplies for my long journey home. Delightedly, I ran out to my raft, laden with food, and to my horror, I found it gone, and the clear silhouette of a man sailing away across the water sailing on my homemade raft and disappearing into the horizon. I couldn't believe it. That horrible young man who had sneered at me when I washed up had stolen my ticket home. He could have a life now, but I will stay here forever until the next person is stranded on the beach. <laughs>